everyone, my name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. I am beyond excited for today's video. Now, I feel like I say that all the time, but I think I have the biggest Lululemon haul I have ever done. So, I don't have much to say. I will have everything linked down below if you all are interested in checking these items out. Um, but other than that, I am so excited to show you what I got. I picked up some old favorites, um, I'm trying out some fun new things and whatnot. So, without further ado, Let's just get started. We're just gonna start with the biggest purchase of this order, and that is this beautiful jacket here. I picked up the Cross Chill Jacket in the color white. Now, I think white is my favorite color that they offer, but I'm also a little bit nervous about it being white just because, um, obviously I'm getting it dirty, but it is absolutely gorgeous. This jacket has a really nice soft shell material with some little reflective details around it, along with a fleece material on the inside. So this will just allow you to stay warm and cozy while wearing something really lightweight um, and breathable and flexible. This jacket has a breathable repel shell waterproof fabric that features a four-way stretch and really soft backing. Like I mentioned, there's lots of reflective details around the jacket, along with three different zippered pockets. So you have one on the back right here with these little reflective dots um, just above the waistline, as well as the two standard pockets on the front with the black detailing zippers and again, those little reflective dots. On the left arm, there is just Lululemon written in, again, that same reflective pattern. And this jacket is a full zip jacket. Um, there is also one front chest pocket here that is much smaller and doesn't have the same black detailing, but this would just be nice for throwing, I don't know, maybe a card in there, something of the sort so that it's not bouncing around on your hips when you're running. Granted, I am not a runner, but I'm so excited for this jacket. I thought this would be the perfect sort of rain jacket, workout jacket, hiking, whatever it might be. I picked this up in a size eight, and I'm gonna go in person to see if they have a size six. I typically wear an eight in all of the Define jackets just because they do have a larger chest and they tend to be a lot tighter there. Now, this scuba pullover is an extra small small and it fits perfectly, so I'm kind of between sizings. Um, it kind of depends on how a certain jacket or style fits, so I do really like this. I think I'm gonna go see if they have a size six even if it's not the same color, I think I'll try in the six, and if I like it more, I'll probably end up ordering the white six, um, if it's not available in person, and if that one does fit better. But it honestly is all up to you and how you prefer your items to fit. Like I mentioned, everything has a different fit and is meant to fit different body types, so. I have yet to take the tag off of this just because like I mentioned, I've been waiting to go and see if there is a six, but I absolutely love this jacket. It is so, so stunning, and I, oh my goodness, the white with the black detailing is to die for. Next up, I went ahead and picked up a pair of shorts. I picked up the Hotty Hot Low Rise Short, two and a half inch lined in the color navy. And I purchased a size six in these. Now I am only like five foot two, five foot one. So having the four inch short, I feel like does not look the best on me. So I did go a size up um, just to have these just a little bit looser, but I absolutely love the hottie hot shorts. Now because I am so short, I have a really short torso. So I opted for the low rise version. Oddly enough, I don't have the navy hottie hot shorts. So I felt like I could definitely use picking them up these shorts have an elastic band that goes all the way around the waist, some little mesh and reflective details on the side. On the back here, we have the Lululemon logo, and then on the left leg, there is a zippered pocket, as y'all can kind of see right there. I personally love the Speed Up shorts. Now, like I mentioned, they are, I feel like, a little bit more 
don't know. I feel like the speed ups definitely fit a little bit tighter than the hottie hot shorts. And then because the hottie hots have the elastic all the way around the waist, I can get away with sizing up in these more than I can the speed ups. So the speed ups, if I get a size six, they fall down instantly, but because of the really thick wide elastic band that goes all the way around on the hottie hots, the six works really well. <clears throat> Now these with the white cross chill jacket will look so, so nice. I also went ahead and purchased, this is the Swiftly Tech Racerback Tank Top 2.0 in the race length in the color black. I purchased this in a size six. I have one of these in a size eight, which I do like the fit, but all of my Swiftly Techs and everything else I own is a size six. I personally prefer how the six fits, but the eight, just has a little bit more of a loose fit, which is kind of nice for the race length, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. So I got this in the color black. Y'all know I'm absolutely obsessed with all things swiftly. The material is so breathable, so comfortable, so flattering on all body types. It looks so nice with shorts, leggings, jeans, whatever it might be. The 2.0 version has a newer material that doesn't hold the stench of sweat quite as much and it's also a lot more comfortable on the seams so it won't rub your neckline and your shoulders quite as much as the older versions will. The race length, like I mentioned, is a little bit more cropped, definitely a shorter fit, um, but this will be also just so nice for my work this summer and just working out, going to the gym, um, that sort of thing. I love, love, love the Swiftly Takes. This here is the free to be elevated bra. I picked this up in a size eight and this is the color smoky red. So just a really nice rosy reddish pink color. I typically go for the size six of these, um, which is definitely a lot more compressive, holds me in a lot more if I'm doing something more high intensity, which I do like if, like I mentioned, I'm doing something high intensity and I wanna stay in place. Um, it definitely is a more high, mid to high support bra if I do size down. However, the size eight I felt like would just be a little bit more comfortable for day-to-day -day wear if I'm gonna be wearing it for longer than 90 minutes or so. Um, I honestly feel so compressed after like 90 minutes that all I want to do is just take this top off. So I thought I would size up in this. I do wear a size 6 in all of the energy bras and the free to be serene bras. Oddly enough, the free to be elevated definitely fits me a lot more tight um, than these other styles do. but. I love, love, love these bras. If you do have a larger chest, the Free To Be Elevated is the way to go. They're so, so comfortable while still being supportive and flattering and cute. They have these three different braided straps on the back here. All of these straps are sewn in unlike some of the other bras, um, and they do have a thicker strap of the three. This really just helps to hold you and keeps you from moving, and some of the other bras with the thinner straps, the thin straps stretch out a lot faster than these thicker ones will. So I picked this up in smoky red, again just this really nice mauvey berry color along with black. You cannot go wrong with having too many black bras. And I only actually have one other black Lululemon sports bra, and that is the Free To Be Serene bra from like four years ago with the thin underwire band. I needed a new one, I needed a fresh start, um, something that was gonna hold me in without being restrictive, something that I could wear all day, was super comfortable um, and just fit well. So very excited about this. And then last but not least, I picked up yet another Swiftly top. This is the Swiftly Tech Short Sleeve 2.0 in the race length. This is in the color Slate and White. Um, oddly enough, I don't have any of the short sleeves in the race length, but, but I have been eyeing this up for so long. I absolutely love this gray color. I feel like it goes with absolutely everything, especially because I don't have gray leggings. I literally can wear it with any of them. So, um, like I mentioned, gotta love the Swiftly Tops. I love this material, love this fabric. So comfortable, so flattering. It's casual and comfortable while still looking somewhat put together, um, much more put together than a graphic tee or something like that. I definitely can get away with wearing these to both of my jobs, which I really appreciate. Um, and then I can go straight from there to the barn or to the gym without having to change much, which is really nice. I did take a shot in the dark and try this in a size eight, which I think I will be exchanging this for a size six. I 
Like I mentioned, I have that one other tank in the size eight, which is a much more loose, casual, relaxed fit, which I like in the tank and I thought I might like it in the short sleeve. To each their own, I think I will be exchanging this for a size six, but I thought I would try and see what the eight looked like just because I do like that relaxed fit in the tank, but not so much in the short sleeve. Like I mentioned, this is the race length, so a little bit more of a cropped look. Um, it definitely is full length and will go all the way down to my hips. I do have a shorter torso that I feel like the average person does, but the full length swiftly tops, I tend to have to roll or fold at the bottom, um, or they get tucked really far into my pants while I'm riding at the barn, that sort of thing. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed. I'm so, so, so excited about everything. Like I mentioned, I will have everything linked down below if you're interested in checking these items out. I know you all enjoy seeing everything that I purchased from Lululemon, um, hearing my thoughts on them, why I picked up the items that I did, that sort of thing. So I thought I would share this with you all. But um, that being said, I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all next time and I appreciate all the love and support. Peace out, bye.